I want to do the whole story today. I want to do from 13 to 32. Vadrib lahum. You know what is that? Vadrib. Vadrib is this. This is Vadrib. Okay? Strike. Vadrib lahum. Give the example. Give to them the example. What is the example? Of a, of a civilization, of a people, of a, of a town, of a place. So this, this is the example of a, of a place, of a uh, village, should I say village? I don't know. It's the Ahal Mursalun. It's the Ahal Mursalun, when the Prophet. So the way you people are helping, O oh Prophet, the way your people are uh, uh, acting against you, the same thing happened when Allah SWT sent not one, <laughs> more than one messengers. So the, the kind of the problem you are helping and you are alone, Allah SWT sent, it will be explained. Allah sent in the beginning two and then Allah SWT made them three. The three messengers were sent. A similar thing happened. Allah SWT, we sent two messengers to them for Kazzabu Huma. Kazzabu Huma means they, say, they said you are lying. So this is takzib. So what is the difference between takzib and kuf? Kufru means guidance come to you and you say to the guidance, no, we don't believe in it. So if you oppose it, if you say no to the guidance, it is called kuf. But if you are even more uh, violent against it and you say it's lie. So takzib is more than kuf. Takzib is not equal to kufr. Takzib is more than kufr. You do kufr and you are saying, being, being violent. You are saying, you are abusing. You are saying, you are a liar. This is it. Vadri bilahum masalna sahab al-qariya ija ahal mursaloon ija sanna ilahe musnayane fa kazzabu huma. So they said to both of them, you are liars. No, they will not. Fazal na misali say. So Allah SWT strengthened them. Allah SWT honored them. Allah SWT helped them. Bisalisin with third. Third messenger was also sent. Inna ilaykum ursalu. Faqalu inna ilaykum. The three of them said, we are. There is a comment. Yeah. Yes, brother. What is the comment? The comment is from Sister Humaira. Imam Mubin Bas makes. Makes sense for Quran. But yeah. uh, in Nabu means huh? number huh? of records. Brother, give that index. You know the, the big book. Yeah, yeah. Yes, brother. Yeah. So can it be our records? Huh? Can it be our records? Our record? I do not know from where came this meaning. You have to give me an example yes. somewhere else. Let me from where comes this meaning? Bring your. Uh, okay, if you want to believe that, go ahead and believe it, but I do not find any, any reason. I have to have an argument. Okay? Give me the other example. This is Who's there? Who's there in the present? Hey, Maulana Abraham sahab hai? Afampa is there. Abraham, Maulana Abraham sahab. Fatma hai. Koi ko. Bring the example. Sister Nuspa, Saba, Humaira, Husna. So, Imam. Sadiq and Farhan and Sister Aisha also. 
אימאם, אימאם לעיני, אימאם ממוביל. דקי, I have got this אימאם מוביל, in the Quran at two places. One thing, فَنْتَقَمْنَا مِنْهُمْ وَإِنَّهُمَا لَبَ إِمَامِ مُبِينَ So this gives the example of Qawmi Luth and another mention that they are there on an Imam Mubin. So what Imam Mubin means? There is two highways meet there. So Imam means guide. So in that sense, Imam, the word Imam is also used for a, for a way, for a street, for a highway. Okay? Okay? So Imam Mubin could be used for highway. And other thing is Kulla Shain as a Nauf Yambun, which we are having there. Okay? So uh, can you bring, these are the two examples which I got. If you want to bring Imam Mubin, see in the index. What is this? You want to see in the Imam, Imam Mubin, okay? Find out my Mubin. How how Hello? How many? Bolo? Asan Nao, yeah. Asan Nao means we covered it. Okay, Quran, you know the meaning of, you know the meaning of denotation, connotation, you know, you know, connotation, and you cover, the book covers all these topics. The book for you for the guidance of human life. Okay? For the guidance of human life, many things are needed. So all those things which were needed for the human guidance, Allah has Allah has discussed them fully in this book. Quran is a sufficient guidance for all matters in human life. You understand? To be nothing, you understand? There are many, many problems in human life. We, we, we face many, many issues. So this is, comes under Kulla Shain, everything. So everything which was needed for human guidance, Allah has uh, very comprehensively discussed all those things in the book. Okay? Okay. So enough, you know, we, uh, wait, according to me, I number 12 is the concluding ayah of this session and it is saying everything. It is, everything is there in this ayah. Okay? So what are the three, and everything has been covered in three topics. The first topic is, this is life after death. Second topic is, whatever you do is written over here. The third topic is that you have been given a guidance in the Quran. That is, the guidance which has been given in the Quran, your action will be judged according to this guidance, and then Allah will, will see what we did, and Allah will also show you the good effects and the bad effect of it also. So that's the kind of thing. But how, how these three things are related, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, Imam Mubin, Imam does not mean book. This is my 
my understanding. This is my understanding. Many people, many people understand it like this. So what is the occasion to tell the people here about uh, that uh, everything has been written? What is, what, how, how to make sense in the whole ayah? It does not make any sense. Nadam, according to you, it makes sense? No sense. Brother Khalil, does it make any sense in ayah number uh, 12? Does it make any sense for Lohe Mefuz? In this ayah, no, oh, Lohe Mefuz makes sense. But does Lohe Mefuz make sense in this context? That inna nano mojil mata, number one. Number two, naktubu makadamu asarahum. These two things. And then Lohe Mefuz. What sense it makes? I know many great Mufassirs, what Barbara Logan, many of the Kabila Adyoni, Barbara Mufassirian have done this, but I am unable to appreciate them. Okay? So can I, can I proceed further? Yes. Okay. So, Vadri, you understand this? Okay. Vadri bil hum as masalan as habal kariya ija ahal mursalun ija salna ilay musnene fakas zabu huma fazasna bi salisin fakalu inna ilay kum mursalun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent some messengers, people disbelieved them. In the beginning there were two, then when they, they had a very hard time, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave, sent a third. Now three came, and what did they say? Say that Allah has sent us to you. Allah has sent us to you, we have got a guidance, listen to us. What is this Ahsaynahu? Ahsaynahu? Yes. Kulli shayin Ahsaynahu. What is this Ahsaynahu? Hold, 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 hold. You gave a speech, okay? <laughs> you gave a speech. And now your speech covered all the topics. And the topic which you were supposed to cover, you don't leave anything at all in this. Okay? It was a very comprehensive thing, it got everything. So human life needed guidance, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has given all the guidance which human life needed in the book. Yes. This is asana. Asana means cover it. Mm. Contain, is it can say contain, consist of so we just come So what does it say? How it translates as an hour? What it says? Read the transition. Which I am. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, I'm gonna wait for one second. Yeah, are you don't be shy, I'll just ask, okay? I said which I okay. Uh, surely we shall resurrect the dead. We are recording all that they are sending ahead and that they are leaving behind. We have recorded everything in an open letter. Reported everything? No. Record. Recorded. Recorded everything. Recorded so everything. So recorded, it's not recorded. In recording, we Technical. covered everything. In regarding everything, we have covered every topic. Right. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So did it. Okay. Go ahead. It says, "Surely, we have. Surely, we have resurrected the dead." No, no, no. The last one. Oh, the last one. Okay. We have recorded everything in an open ledger. In an open ledger. ledger. It's totally mistaken. Right. Yes. What is letter? Yeah. No. What is it? Ledger. Ledger. What is ledger? Ledger is like it's some kind of. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Counting. Kata. 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 Get the money. Kata. Yeah. 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 What does your book says? Here it says. Um, the last one. The last one. Oh. For what all things, do we take an account in a clear record? I mean, a record clear. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. They are going all with me. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 Go ahead. Okay. So. Okay, so can I can I proceed further? Fakalu inna ilaykum mursalu. So what did they say? That Allah SWT has sent us to you to give you Allah some message from Allah SWT. So what is that message? They gave it to what did the people said? Kalu ma antumilla basharum The people said 
you you are a man like us. Mm. What's the difference? You are also a human being. We are also a human being. Vama Andhra Rahman means hai. And the merciful God has not sent down anything. No. We do not believe in you. We are. Ma Andhra Rahman means hai. The Rahman, the merciful God, has not said anything. In Antumila Kazbun, you are lying. Okay? That's clear. Is I number 15 clear or there is any question about it? Is everything, it every letter, brother? Everything, every 15, letter is clear? 13. 15. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. No, no, 15. You are only lying. Is this 15? Yeah. Okay? So they said, they said three things. Number one, number one, first thing, they said, you are a human being like us. Number one. Number two. And then they said, Allah has not sent down anything, number two. Number three, you are only lying. Wow. You know, Allah SWT is wonderful. He is just very honest, Allah SWT just said. And now he wants to think that. <laughs> okay, so what did the people reply? What did the, the messengers reply? The messengers reply is given in number 60. What is there? Kalu Rabbuna Yalam. Our Rabb, our Lord knows. Inna ilaykum lamurs. You know this la. What is this la? Indeed. Brother, what is this la? It's like lakat. La. La. This la is there for kasam. When there is a kasam, some emphasis, then this la. Allah. Hum kasam khaage kate. We, 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 I swear, I, I take an oath. When, when, when someone does not believe you, then what do you do? <laughs> then you have a kasam or something, okay? That's so, okay? It's like God. swearing. Yeah, yeah. So mm. this, this is Allah. Lam ursalum. Rabbuna yalam. Allah knows. So what does it mean by that? Khalifa, what does it mean? Allah knows. That is, I call Allah for witness. So this could mean that if we are lying, Allah will punish us. Okay? Allah is a witness. We call Allah to witness us. Okay? Kalu ma antumil. What is it? Kalu Rabbana, they said, our Lord knows that we are sent down to you. Allah knows it. If we are, if we are wrong, so that's the only witness we have. Allah will destroy us. Allah will kill us. Allah will punish us. Okay. Okay. So number 16. And what is 17? What is the difference between 16 and 17? What does 17 say? 17 says that look, all we can do is this, see the message. Read the message, the message itself will say that it is true. Allah has sent this book, here is the book, read it. When you read the book, it is so true, it says yes, 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 Allah must have said it. You see, I am right with that. Vama alena. And our only responsibility is to convey to you the clear message. So this message is clear. So look, uh, the Lohe Mafu is not clear, but the message is clear. Okay. Uh -huh. So if anyone brings here in Imam Mubin, Lohe Mafu, in number 12 is wrong according to me. Allah correct me if I am wrong. Okay. Illal Bala Gul Mubin. Wama alayna illa al Yes. There is any question? Yes. What is that question? You speak out clearly. The question is from Brother Afaq. What is that? What could what could be the significance of using Rahman uh, and not Allah? Hmm? You tell me. What did he say? You tell me. The situation is this. Let me tell you what happened. That the when the really this is not from from the addressees, it is from the prophets. 
when the prophets were talking to the people and giving them the message, then they were saying to the people, look, Allah SWT is so kind, Allah SWT is so nice. And for Allah they were using the word Rahman. So when the people spoke against them, then they used the same name. That Rahman, okay? So they were just, <laughs> they were just, uh, uh, you know, they were just, you know, countering them, okay? The, 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 this. Otherwise, it's not the case that the people knew of Rahman. Of, that's my understanding, okay? The messengers, many things are hidden over here. What is hidden? That the, the, the prophets explained everything to them. Prophets told to them that, look, Allah is so kind, Allah is so nice. So instead of Allah, they were using the word Rahman. And they were telling the people, why you people are doing this wrong thing? Why you people are acting unjustly? Why the people you are lying? Why the people you are, you know, criticizing them, telling them that, look, your Allah is so merciful, so kind, come back to him, he will forgive you. So they were making all these arguments. Okay? So you can, so uh, Quran addresses very intelligent people. So Allah SWT is hoping that when you will think, then you will understand it yourself. You understand what I mean? So you're saying that uh, ayat number 16 goes all the way back to ayat number 11, where Allah uses uh, the, the name Ar-Rahman there. 16? No, I did not say it. No. 16, it has, you know... 17. You're talking about 17? No, no. no. I was talking about 16. No, 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 no. I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this. I'm not saying anything like no, that. You were saying that the name Ar-Rahman, they went back. You said it went back to... Work. No, no. Okay. I'm not saying anything. Because I, well, I just looked back and I saw the, the name Ar-Rahman mentioned in no, item number 11 no, also. No. Okay. Humaira is saying, mm -hmm. Humaira, one of the persons, one of the participants is saying, why word Rahman is used over here? Okay. Okay? All right. Her question is, why the word Rahman is used over here? Mm -hmm. So I was answering this question. And when you answer... And the first answer I gave is that you think yourself. Yes, indeed. Okay. Question was from Brother Afaf. Yes, brother. The question was actually raised from Brother Afaf. Okay, so from Brother Afaf. So, Brother Afaf, are you satisfied? I hope Brother Afaf is satisfied. Okay, go ahead. قَالُوا رَبُّنَا يَعْلَمُ إِنَّا إِلَيْكُمْ لَمُرْسِمُونَ وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَى الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا تَتَيَّرْنَا بِكُمْ لَيْنْ لَمْ تَنْتَهُوا لَنَرْجَمَنَّكُمْ وَلَا يَمَسَّنَّكُمْ مِنَّا عَزَابٌ عَلِيمٌ So now the things are becoming more and more sharp. Wow. Okay? And what is happening? Now they, they said, إِنَّا تَتَيَّرْنَا بِكُمْ You are unblessed. Why hmm. they said? Why they said? تَتَيَّرْنَا what is the translation of the year? Can you can you read the translation? Eighteen. Just the first sentence. First class. Eighteen. Uh, they replied, we go, huh? they replied, loudly we and re loud as possible. Well, they huh? replied, we regard you as an evil omen to us. Yeah, evil. Why they said so? Brother, why they said you? We regard you as an evil omen. Why? Just to further discredit him because they said this, no, no, they said he was no, a liar. No, 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 this will not work, no. You, you said, you tell me, why they said you will owe me? They lacked understanding and they, no. don't, they didn't want to know. No. Let me tell you. This is not one day, it went on and on, okay? It went for maybe years. So many arguments went on in years. Then what I, what did? Then Allah SWT sent some difficulties to it may be they get less. Allah SWT made the life dif difficult. Some some test came from Allah SWT. Mm -hmm. Maybe some sickness came, maybe some uh, lack of food came, no rain, all these things, okay? So that they think, they said they made trouble. So when Allah SWT made, <laughs> made this difficult thing, then he said, oh, it is due to you. Oh, they blame them. <laughs> then the Prophet said that it is due to your action. Instead of correcting, Allah SWT made it for you so that you think, so that you think it's your actions. How foolish you are. How foolish you are that Allah SWT is, is telling you it is from Allah. Why it is from Allah? 
Because you will are not believing, therefore Allah is punishing you. Therefore Allah SWT is making you think. And you are blaming us? You got, you got it there? Yeah. So there are many, many years in this and this. Okay? Mm-hmm. So inna tatayyar nabikum. So inna tatayyar nabikum. Before that something is understood. What is that thing? That this kind of arguments went on for a long time and then in between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested them, punished them, give them some some, some time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, there was no rain, sometime maybe there's something, you know, like yeah, a difficult. Yeah, different thing. So then then they said the you people are uh, unblessed. Due to you people this happened. <laughs> they said foolish people, Allah is making you think. Okay? So I number come to come to think. I number eighteen. Clear to everyone? Clear, hey? Is it clear? Inna tatayyarna bikum laylam tantahu lanarjumannakum. So instead of making toba, instead of correcting themselves, they said, you are unblessed and this all is coming due to you, therefore we will punish you. We will kill you. We will stone you to death if you don't stop. Okay? If you do not stop this dawa. Uh, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yes, right. Wala yamasannakum minna azabun adi. Okay? So what was their answer? Their answer was very simple. 19. Kalu tuayrokum maakum. This bad of man is due to your own actions. Okay? Ain zukirtum. Yeah, can you read your translation, brother? Loudly. They said, your evil omen, omens be with you. Is with you, okay. Right. Okay. Do you call it evil omen? Because you have been admonished or punished, like you said, admonished. Do you call it evil omen? Yeah, they, they, they told them that you, it's, it's, it's you who are the, who are uh, the evil so omen. So what they were you. saying is this, that look, this Allah is giving you this punishment so that you correct yourself. But you, instead of getting a reminding, a remembrance, instead of learning a lesson, you are saying it, you are putting it back upon us. Right. So Allah is doing it so that you make tawma. Why don't you make tawma? Ayn zukirtum, bal antum komu musrifun. You have gone to the extreme. When you did not believe, then Allah SWT punished you. And when Allah SWT punished you, then you are going to punish us more. So. Read the whole sentence. <clears throat> Do you call the evil omens because you are being advised? <laughs> Very loudly, yeah. Go ahead. Do you call it evil omens because you are being admonished? Indeed, you are a nation of transgressors. Okay. Yes, brother. What is that? Go ahead. Yeah. And there is a comment from Brother Kweko, which I do not understand. No, no, sir, so let him speak. Huh? It's keynote number 3963 ayah. Okay. Hmm. So what is this? No, let him speak. He, 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 he wrote something? Let me turn on his mic, just if he can speak. Huh? He's going to put on his mic. I'm turning on Brother Kweko. His mic is not turning on also. No, yeah, because his mic is not working. Yeah. He might be on yes, phone. Brother Kweko, can you speak out? Yeah, now he can. Yeah, Brother Kweko, your mic is on. Go to speak up. What I was saying is. Yeah, speak out. Yeah. You are fine. Okay, what I was saying is. What did you usually said? Can you explain what you usually said in your own words? Uh, 
Usually, usually the interpretation is different from my interpretation, am I right? It's not clear. Which word? He said it's almost the same, it's just huh? worded differently. He said it's almost the same as yours, but it's just okay, worded okay, differently. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. It is worded differently. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much for this. Okay. Okay. Kalu tairokum makum in zukirtum balantum komo musifun. Okay. So now this story is finished. This phase of the story is finished. Now another thing came. So these are the these are case with three persons, okay? This might have been going on for many years, many days, something like this. Then Ja Amin Aksal Madina te Radulin A person came running from far off. So this is one event. One day when the argument was going on, so the, 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 a person came running, running from far off city. What he said? Kale Yaqom, he said, oh my people, it tabi'ul mursaleen. You should follow, follow the messengers. Okay. So he came and he recommended that you should follow the messengers. Okay. Then, 21. 21 gives the argument. It tabi'u malla yasalukum ajram. Follow one who does not want any reward from you. So you should see that they are not asking any reward. They are selfless. They are your well wishes. <coughs> okay? Am I right? Yes. Ittabeu follow man la yas alukum ajran. One who is not asking any reward. They did not have any vested interest. They are not asking for any money. Okay? They are just for your own good. Vahum motadun. And, they, and whatever they are saying is guidance. Where are they guided? And they are guided. They are, yeah, they are guided. They are, the one. Yeah. they are guided. They are guided, you know. They are, whatever they are saying is guided. It's, it's right. Okay? Okay? Then in 23. In 23 he says that saying a no to them does not make sense and it is quite Irrational. Oh, okay. So, that's the wording which is there. Should I have other gods, other, should I have gods other than God? So, the, what they are saying, don't worship anyone but one God. Okay. That makes sense. Why should you worship others? So, Atlachazo Mindunahi Aleha. Should I should I have other gods? Should I have gods other than Allah? Fine. He read me Rahman with Again, Rahman. Because you know, this, this atmosphere was created by the prophets. They were again and again saying that, look, your loving God, your merciful God wants you. He's been so kind to you. So they were saying, so they started, uh, even the opponents also. But here he is, if Rahman wants to hurt, then their shafaat, their recommendation will not help. So I should read, I should leave Rahman, the merciful God, and I should please your gods and I suppose, and you. So I, 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 what I do, I miss Allah, I miss Rahman, I miss him. And miss his mercy, and then what do you do? If, you, if Allah punishes me, shall they be able to help me? Can their recommendation save me? No. Well, I and they cannot, they cannot protect me. In me is a lafi the is quite clear, quite, quite, quite clear, misguided. So dalali mubin. What is the meaning of dalali mubin? Manifest error. Eh? What does it mean? Manifest what, error. What does it mean? What is manifest error? It means way off. The way off the mark. It's clearly... No, no, no. Yeah. It is very clear mm -hmm. that it is erroneous. It's being clear, it's being 
wrong is clear. It is very clear that it is wrong. Inni idal lafi dalali mubi. So then it is very clear that I will be misguided. Chef, don't you think it's important that he mentions uh, in respect, in, in a number of places, he's mentioning who? A Rahman. Yep. Uh, and with what? Bidurri. You know, Bidurri la Tughri. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is interesting, yeah. So, you know, and he, before he mentioned him having uh, Khashia, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. For, of course. for him. But, yeah, yeah. But in general, you know, when you think about something that's merciful, you know, you don't have fear of that. Yeah. You know, so he's, but he's put these things, juxtaposed those things which are not generally considered for the merciful. And here's the merciful is uh, intending adversity. How yeah. is that? Yeah. You know, how can, I'm saying, isn't that something that's important? Yeah, very important. You know, to very important, consider? Very important. Yeah, explain it, explain it. You know. uh, so the point is this, that look, Allah is inviting you. Allah who is merciful is inviting you. Right. And you should be thankful to Him. But if you act foolishly, then Allah who is merciful will rather, rather, rather having Allah's mercy, you will have punishment. It is very, very unfortunate that from merciful God, instead of having, uh, instead of having His mercies, you have His punishment. How, how foolish it is. You go to a person who is, a, who is with all the beautiful, nice things, but you, you, what you want, you do not take the nice thing from him, you take the ugly things from him. But also so it is very, very foolish that Allah who is merciful and who wants to be more and more merciful to you, what should you do? What should you do concerning Allah? You will you thank him, you should go down to him, you should be thankful to him, okay? But what you are doing, instead of being thankful to him, you are thankless to him, and what happens at then? That the merciful God, instead of being merciful to you, is punishment. So the contrast, there's a contrast here. But here, he used, contrast. here he used Rahman, and earlier he used uh, Rahim when he was addressing. No, no, Rahim is not here. No, in the early ayahs. Where did you show me? It's in the. Uh, yes, in Rahman. Tanzila Aziza Rahim. Yeah, it is there, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but there. not here, not here. Right, yeah. right. Okay, so it is very far, okay. But here he's talking to the ones who really, because of their uh, misguidance, you know, he used the name Ar Rahman because that, that mercy goes to everybody. You know that the Rahman it goes to everybody, but Rahim only goes to those who are lost. Brother, brother, don't bring this question of Rahim here, because Rahim is not here. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I, I, you know, we had asked about this no, before. No, 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 no. The thing is this: that the that the the messengers has created this environment. Mm -hmm. He's saying that look, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is so kind to you. Yes. Allah is so kind to you, Allah is ready to forgive you. So, what is being discussed over here is Allah's Rahmania. But Rahimiyah is not under discussion. Right. So what they were, they were bringing here, okay? Mm -hmm. So he, he, the messengers were bringing, were appealing to them, okay? Because instead of them being so wrong, instead of being so, you know, uh, so rigid people and so difficult people, unwilling to believe in Allah, unwilling to thank Him in this, this. Allah is still kind to them, Allah is still giving them food to eat, Allah is still giving them So Allah's Ramaniya is here. So they were just highlighting Allah's Ramaniya. Okay? That's, that's kind of thing. But what you are doing? You are you, you are not using Allah's Ramaniya, you are you, you want Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala to not to be, you know, instead of Ramaniya, Allah, you want Allah SWT to punish you. Okay, Raman can punish you too. <laughs> right. That, that's, that's very strange that you are, that you do not uh, care that Allah SWT, the merciful God, is so kind 
in spite of all your foolishness. Right. So far giving you, he's giving you food to eat, he's giving you all these things. And he, he, even this warning, if there is drought, if there is uh, no rain, nothing. So this is also for your own benefit. That's a mm. mercy. This is again the mercy of yeah. God. Yes. Yes. So yes. The, the, the prophets yeah. and the messengers and this man, yes. they were ha they, they, they ha were highlight highlighting the mercy of God. Right. And this is merciful God, but think how foolish you are that you want uh, punishment for merciful God. <laughs> hmm. Is it not funny hmm. that you want punishment for merciful God instead of having right. his more in mercy? You can, you can say, you can come out that uh, you should have it Rahmaniya, Rahimiya too. But Rahimiya is not yeah, had on that no. discussion. Is it, is it is the fact that a Rahman is present here? Uh, speaking about the message that is being sent, that is covering all the things that the person is needing, that is a mercy. In fact, that is that. Yeah, 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 this, yeah, yeah. So he is saying that, and he's also saying of himself, which is in the message, that he's available. You know that the message is uh, uh, for you, and that he is available. You yeah. know that not only is he available, <laughs> but <laughs> but the guidance is available in what he sent. Yeah. You know, and you know, to He's reject it, right? To reject it would put you in a place that is where, whereby you will receive, you know, uh, uh, punishment. You know? Yeah. yeah, isn't that what he says? Yeah, of course. And I, I'm saying that you know, a Rahman is, you know, is a law saying about his message. You know, he's speaking, and and the message is Rahman. Yeah, the so, yeah, he, in, in, in the, the three prophets of God, the three messengers, as well as this young man, mm. they had created an environment. Mm. This environment was that of the Rahmania. And Rahmania, so they were all the time discussing Rahmania. So what do you expect from Rahmania? Be thankful to him, bow down to him, expect, and then he shall, as you said, his Rahimia will be coming, then all the more. Okay, but what do you do? You you want to punishment from Rahman. Mm. <laughs> it's very 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 unfortunate thing that you want punishment from Rahman. Mm. Okay, so that's the kind of thing. Okay, inni amant. Okay, inni idar lafi dali mubin. Inni amanto verab bikum fasmoon. We are seven minutes over. Okay, okay, okay. So I number twenty four. <coughs> I number twenty four says that it is clear misguidance. And I number 25 says that he gave them a challenge. Do whatever you want to do. You see, the style of 25 is that of a challenge. Okay? And then 26. What is the difference between 25 and 26? Is something hidden? Yeah, I will finish it. This is the conclusion for those who listen to the message. Huh? This is the place where those who listen to the message and follow it will be. Yeah, yeah, of In course. So it's what is hidden is this, that when he gave them the challenge, the that law, listen, I believe in Allah. So when he said like this, they immediately stoned, throwing him and killed him. Here's where, they, they, where Rahim comes. Those Rahim. people who are receiving the message, then they will experience okay. Rahim. Okay. okay, so what happens? Qilat Khulil Janna. So Qilat Khulil Janna, so after 25, this is hidden, that as soon as he gave them the challenge, they attacked him and killed him. Hmm. Yes. This is understood. Right. After 25, something is understood. Let's read it. Consequently, you know, when I read this surah, I was uh, what, what, my age, maybe 14, 15 years age. I mm. read it, then it was clear to me at that time too. Mm. Mm. Okay, so in the Amanta Barabbekum Fasmoon, Kila Khuljana, the people immediately attack and kill him. Kala Yale Takhomi Alamun. So now he says, Oh, because he entered into the paradise. <laughs> 
you may be here little pain allah made all that pain easy to him okay bima ghafar li rabbi wajal so number 27 so compare 27 and this finish compare 27 with 11 27 and 11 is the same so let us make dua inshallah we will pick it up from here next on next wednesday we will discuss the whole thing so this section is from aya number 13 to 32 we shall do the whole thing so excuse me for uh, uh, going uh, beyond my limits so may allah forgive us and may allah guide us amen thank you brother for your patience okay Subhanallahi